What up folks, I am Ultrazilla and today I have a double Gundam Universe review of the Gundam Exia and the Gundam Exia Trans Am mode which was a Target exclusive. Really cool art on both of these boxes, different art which is good, they could have just made it, you know, pink version of this, uh, but they didn't. All new art on this, this was GU16 by the way. Um, they were in my backlog. Now, they were in my 2022 backlog, but then I kind of deleted that, but I, 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 I kind of put them back uh, because I think I didn't acquire these till 2022. I do know that this one did come out in 2022, this variant, but this one might have been end of 2021. I'm not 100% sure. Like, there was a reason why I, they were on there and then they weren't on there and... Um, then they were on there again. Either way, it doesn't matter. They're coming off the backlog right now. So without any further ado, let's get to these reviews. And here are the Exeas out of their package. But before we get to them, first up, they both come uh, with a holding hand, a trigger hand, and a Tapashi stage act, which pretty much all these Gundams do. Then we uh, get these grips, now the regular X Xia uh, are in white, and uh, the Trans Am are in pink. And what we do with these is uh, we stick them on the backs here, uh, like so. You get two at the top, and then you get two here at the bottom. So that's the regular one. And then there's the Trans Am one. And let's uh, leave it here and do articulation. Head moves like so. The body moves like so. Have a little waggle there. These move. Shoulders move. Sw swivel at the bicep. Double jointed elbow. The wrists are on ball joints. The legs oh, can explode like so. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to reconfigure this guy in a second. But let's do the rest of the leg, like that. And then double jointed knee. And then the foot comes off as well. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see if this guy <laughs> fares any differently. You know, we don't have to do it all, but I feel like the uh, leg is gonna come out again. Is there a drop down joint? There is a drop down joint, which would have helped. Um, so there you go. All right, that's your articulation. <laughs> it does feel a little loose in the legs, I gotta say. Both of them do. All right, so let's take a look at this guy in full. I think the head sculpt is pretty unique. Looks pretty good. Big v fin. You got that nice metallic green. I like the big circular side. That's pretty cool. The blue eyes are red on the bottom of that. Black around the eyes. Little uh, chin in red looks good. Uh, then you got some gray underneath there that's pretty neat more green back here this is what the back looks like with these uh grips as they say uh but i like this part it looks really cool the red in the middle you know the rest is very you know just gundam-esque bottom of the feet look pretty good and red got the gray going up the legs which looks really nice that nice metallic green on the sides there and a nice ball that's pretty cool again very unique the uh Waist plate here is really nice. I like these things here. They do move a little bit, which is cool. And then uh, red and blue at the waist. And then you got that green in the middle again with the yellow coming out of it. That This chest is awesome. And then uh, you got the white and uh, yellow there. Shoulder pads are in blue. Green again there. Really, really nice design. For the Exia, there's no doubt about it. It looks pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. Um, so yeah, this, it's, it's a nice looking figure, uh, the normal one. I, I do like it. And checking out the not normal one, uh, really, really good looking as well. Um, very, very nice. I like the chest a lot. It looks really, really cool. Copper. Uh, then you got the nice metallic pink there. That looks really good. In the back, I have one of these grips came out of my hand here as I was doing it. That's a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, but looks pretty good overall, the back. 
Metallics are very, very nice on this. Bottom feet, eh, it's alright. But the metallic here, oh man, that looks really cool. And metallic there looks really good. Metallics there. I mean, this is this one is just, just looking at the metallics. It's it's beautiful. Love the head again. Again, you got the metallic pinks on the sides and the balls on the front. Beautiful. The chest again looks absolutely superb. Just look at the metallics, guys. I mean, you saw the design already. The design is great, but the metallics on this one, this Trans Am version, is uh, very, very cool. I really, really like it a lot. So, yeah, both of them look good. I mean, one is very traditional Gundam S colors, and uh, this one, which is becoming sort of uh, this pink, you know, it's like a Target exclusive type of deal. Um, I, I like it. I think it looks really good either way you go. We weren't done with the accessories uh, yet before. Uh, we do have swords. We have uh, some short blades and longer blades in pink or white, depending on which flavor you like. Really, really cool. I like these a lot. But what I really like are these ginormous blades. Uh, the pink looks really good. I think that might be my favorite, but they are bigger than the figures themselves. Um, you, you can shift these around as well for different grips and stuff. You know, if you want to do like a traditional like shooting grip or whatever, uh, you know, you can hold it there. It, it's cool. Uh, I believe you could also take off the shield if you want. So that's a thing. Yeah, you could do things with these, but these are absolutely fantastic. Big, giant blades. A couple other things to note. These can attach to the side there, which is cool. You could also take that off if you want. And I think with the giant sword, he could only kind of hold it outwards, like so, or if he's going to hold it at all, because the only grip I see is like, like outward like this. So, you know, there's that. I mean, I guess that's why this turns, but you could also do, do this, which kind of looks pretty cool. So yeah, yeah, there's a couple options there. And for your size comparison, here are the Exias with some other Gundam Universe figures you might have in your collection and uh, another uh, robot, Super Robot Chogokin, which uh, really, really scales well with this line. And my final thoughts on the Exia. I really like the Trans Am colors, but I gotta say these things on the back fall out a lot. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but you know what? All in all, I think uh, it's a nice looking figure. No matter which way you go, uh, you're gonna... I, th I think you'll enjoy this if you're a fan of this Gundam. So, eh, yeah, it's not bad. It, it's it's not bad. Uh, it's got some cool, cool things. Uh, I most likely will probably keep the regular one, but the uh, even though I'm saying I like the pink one more, Traditional looks pretty good, and I do like the green, um, you know, metallics overall. I think that's really rad. But there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Diversify your collection. Get some gun in the universe. Until next time, peace out.